Thanks for checking out our KWestify review and demonstration. We think you're going to love KWestify and we encourage you to click the link below to view all our exclusive bonuses if you purchase through our link. With KWestify you can effortlessly master keyword exploration, niche analysis, and insights from people also ask. With that said, let's get right into the demonstration. In this video, I want to walk you through Questify and show you how it works and some of the features available. So when you first get access to Questify, you're going to be taken to your main dashboard here where you can sign out and you can also see all the campaigns that you've created. On the top right corner, you have your total credits available. These will be deducted as you're creating the campaigns so you can see them live. If you click on your profile over here, you can choose between the dark and the light theme and you can also update your profile here. On the main menu, you can access your dashboard anytime here. You can start new campaigns, submit support tickets, view or update your billing information, see what's new that we're adding within Questify, and even add team members to help you manage your account. The first thing we're gonna do is jump into campaigns. This is where you're gonna see every campaign you create. Since we haven't created any yet, there's obviously nothing here. So let's go ahead and click on new campaign. These are all of your campaign types. Let me briefly explain how these work and then in other videos, I'll go through and demo some of these for you. So first is keyword competition. With this one, you simply enter a keyword. It's gonna extract a lot of keywords that are related and similar and show you SEO data so you can get a better idea of the search volume and how competitive these keywords are. For keyword competition, custom keywords, you can paste in your own list of keywords that you have if you want to check the competition for them. You can then view the top 1000 keywords at any time. These are always kept up to date and all this information is extracted from Google's API. So when they update their information, ours also gets automatically updated. The next area is for keyword extraction. This is where you can find more keywords or even questions based around what people are searching for right now. People also ask. This is one of the most popular ways to find trending and popular questions people are asking on Google that you can use for article titles or even video titles to create content on to be one of the first to gain the traffic from it. This is also updated in real time and you can also set alerts. This means Questify can go out and check two times a day for new questions people are asking based around a specific keyword. And if it finds them, it's going to email you and notify you immediately so you can come in and start creating content around that question. You also have related searches. People also search, which is just going to give you more variations or ideas for keywords based upon your main keyword that you can use for your content. Keyword discovery is another amazing and powerful tool. With this tool, you can actually go in and pull the latest trending keywords from Google, YouTube, or Amazon so you know what people are searching for right away. On the right hand side, we have a title generator section where you can create titles for your content to be used for your blog, for videos, or even social media. And because of the integration of AI technology today, being able to create these titles Many AI tools, such as our tool, AI WiseMind, can create an entire article simply based upon an individual title, which is why we've also integrated that within Questify to make this so much easier for you to generate content. So the first option we have here is Ask AI. By entering a simple keyword, AI will give you a lot of relevant questions people may be asking about that keyword. If you don't want questions, you can always search for informational titles. These are titles that are mostly non-question. Then we have category-based titles. This is a little more advanced, but it allows you to add multiple categories in and it will create a series of titles based upon each one of those categories. You can also have Questify to create YouTube titles for you for your videos. And then under tools, we have something called a duplicate remover. So with the duplicate remover, you may have gathered throughout these tools several hundred keywords or even questions or titles that you want to use. But at the same time, you want to make sure that none of those will generate duplicate content if you're using them on your website. So you can paste all those 300 into this duplicate remover tool and it's going to go through and AI is going to identify ones that may generate duplicate content, remove those and only leave the ones available that are going to create unique content. For each one of these options, when you select it, it's going to give you some options if you scroll down. So for keyword competition, if we scroll down, you're going to have to give it a campaign name. The campaign name is required for every campaign that you set up. 
Also, for this one, you do have to enter a keyword that you want to research and get more information on. You can then choose the limit of how many results you want to get for this keyword. So if we want it to give us 100 keywords related to this keyword, we would simply select 100. And this would use up 10 credits. So the way credits work is one credit will give you 10 results. So if you want to do the minimum search results and show 100, it's going to cost you 10 credits. If you want to do 1,000, it's going to cost you 100 credits. You can choose to include the seed keyword in every one of the keywords that it shows you. So whatever keyword you enter in this box, if you want to make sure that keyword is shown in every keyword that it gives you in the results, you want to tick this box. You can then choose the language you want. So if you click this drop down arrow, you can either start to type or you can scroll and pick the language that you want. You can then choose the country and then the domain. So if you want to use Google or Bing. And there's a few additional filters here. So by ticking this box, you can filter by search volume, competition level, or cost per click. And once you're ready to start your campaign, you're going to click on Create. This is how all the campaigns work throughout Questify. In the upcoming videos, I'm going to demonstrate how we use these tools to find amazing keywords, keyword phrases, and titles to use for the content when we create our websites and our YouTube videos.